Today is uh, Thursday, October the 3rd, 2019. And there's a sense of excitement in my spirit today as I, I remind all of us about the Good Shepherd. As we look again at John 10, 11 through 15, now I want the Spirit of God just to speak into your heart about the care of the Good Shepherd over your life. I know that he will. Listen to these words carefully. I'm the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he who is a hireling and not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he's a hireling, does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I want to discuss with you today, just a little bit further, a little bit deeper if we may, how much God cares for us as the good shepherd. I think this is so important for us to be reminded of. And I know that the Spirit of God is going to be doing a work right now because this is the Word of God. When He says, I'm not like the hireling, I'm the good shepherd. In other words, I don't leave you. I don't flee when, when times get tough. He's actually saying, I've taken responsibility for your life. You are the apple of my eye. I know you. I, I know your name. I, I know the numbers of hairs on your head. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. I know your personality. I know your quirks. I know your idiosyncrasies. I know the things that tend to depress you and drag you down. I know about the things that tempt you and pull you away from me. That's what God's saying. I'm the good shepherd. I know I know each of my sheep. I, I know what makes you tick. I know what causes you to run and hide. I know what drives you to me. He knows everything about you and I, and I mean everything. He knows every detail of our life. He knows us intimately. That's how much he loves us. And I want you to hear this. He's actively engaged in shepherding your life. He does this by his word. He does this by the Holy Spirit's indwelling presence in your and my life. He rescues us. He brings us to himself. He provides all the nourishment in life that we need. Everything that pertains to life and godliness he's given us. Come on. He gives you repose amid the cares and toils of life. He guards you from all dangers. He guides you in all the perplexity of life. He heals all your diseases. He reclaims you from all your wanderings. At last he'll receive you into heaven. And, and some of this has been a quote from W.H. Uh, Van Dorn. I appreciate so much how men of God have researched and studied and give us some concise ways to look at this. I believe what I've just told you is true because it's written in the pages of the Bible. Yet something happens to us. All of us, I think, we're, we're prone to this. We're sheep, remember? And when we're surrounded by the crises of life, the storms, the threats, the times of desperation and exasperation, the times of maybe depression or letdowns. Let's be honest, we tend not to sense the presence of the Lord. And maybe it's because we, we thought we should have a goosebump or goosebumps or we should have a certain feeling. But the truth is this, the Good Shepherd is always there. Even when our emotions, our feelings aren't sensing that it's true, He did not leave us. Remember his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. We must trust what the word of God says. And during the time of the storm, we must remind ourselves, hey, God's right here. He promised he would be here. I'm going to quote this scripture to myself and hold it up as a prayer of praise to the Lord. Today, the abiding presence of God by the Holy Spirit is with you in your spirit. Right now, the Holy Spirit is with you. Right now, no matter what you're facing, what trouble you're in, what trial you're in, what storm has hit you, what victory you've just celebrated, the Spirit of the living God is with you. When you've been let down or when you have a let down, when you feel depressed or discouraged or downhearted or in despair, the psalmist said, hope thou in God for I will yet praise him. Trust what God's word says. Believe it. 
He took responsibility for your life when you stopped trying to save yourself and you surrendered to him. You're under his watchful care. Come on, this is the, the spirit of the living God and the God, Yahweh, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, the I am God. You're under his watchful care. Rest in your faith in what God has said and then build your faith by staying in God's word every moment of every day. Listen, God cares about you more than I could or anyone else could ever care about you, more than your best friend cares about you. And listen, God's got control of the entire universe. Everything is in his power. Walk beside him today. Draw near to him today. Read scripture today, quote scripture, let your spirit be drawn toward him and watch God take care of you. Father, how oh, I praise your name. When I've stumbled and wondered, you've been there and brought me back. Thank you. Thank you. When I've been onslaughted in my physical being, you've been my defense against sickness and disease. When I've been threatened and when the storms have arisen and the waves seem over my head, huh, you've been there. Held my hand. You've drawn me close to yourself. Your Holy Spirit has loved on me. I am so blessed. Oh, God, I praise you. You are that for all of your children. You love each of us individually, and you are watching over our lives. And we praise you. We honor you. We glorify you today. And we take courage in what your word says. We trust you. You will not leave us alone. Thank you. Amen. Grace and peace. Have a blessed day.